Hi and welcome to the channel. I am Gibbon Dragon. As many of you are aware that are on Twitch and are watching my gaming ch my gaming channel there. I am also on Beam now. So I'll be streaming from there. So if people want to go across there as well, they can check that out. I will put uh, information on both my channel well, both my gaming channel on Twitch and on Beam uh, below uh, somewhere. You'll see that, so the information can be found elsewhere uh, on on the on the actual site. But today, what I'm going to bring you is uh, Nerd Block. Yes, I've actually had one turn up this month. Long story, I'm not getting into it. <laughs> but uh, well, this month's May's uh, May's theme is. 80s takeover so we're expecting quite a bit from this you know um, and we'll find out now because here it is the nerd block itself see nerd block nerd block nerd block nerd block nerd block yes nerd block Let's see if I can move a couple of things. Okay, I can't move that then. I'm gonna see what I can do here because I got a new setup. So you probably people that have previously watched my videos would know that I got a different setup. So it looks all different as I'm presenting it here. So normally t-shirts the last thing, right? Yeah. So we, we're gonna put that one one way and. I'm just going to pull out something first. So, first off, we have, and I want to check this thing here, we have uh, 16 Candles, Funko Pop Vinyl Figure. A better way to remember this John Hughes cult classic than your than you very own 16 Candles Vinyl commemorative character. It's like walking down memory lane. And I don't remember 16 Candles. I'll have to have a look it up. I don't know, I was kind of I was doing a lot of different things at different times. So that's that one there. I'll open that later. I normally open everything, but uh, uh don't wanna at the moment. Um right. Second item. Oh I guess that's on the bottom. Yeah. Right, okay, so. Oh, no, no. Ah, it's uh, one of these uh, printed zinc pen. Um, you know, something you would wear on your shirt. No, maybe like a badge. It's a badge. It's out of time from Back to the Future. Which is cool. What does it say about this? It says that. Uh, we hope you didn't forget to fix the flux capacitor as this exclusive pin will make you feel like you went you want to go back in time. Uh, suddenly let the other time travelers know that you too are from the eighties. And I think I said we'll go with the other one actually first. But I remember having one of these. Um, it's not. It, it's a sticky etch a sketch sticky notes. Now everybody remembers having that, and you were able to draw stuff on there. Some people did some really complicated stuff on there, uh, but these are just like sticky notes, like post-it notes with, uh, with a fancy with a, with a fancy etch a sketch kind of feel to it. So that would be good. Remembering all these things from the 80s, I never think my brother had one. Um, the Etch a Sketch. I know Back to the Future and Etch a Sketch. So let's um, see what else, eh? Let's. Uh... Aha! So we got ourselves a Stay Puff. Marshmallow Man Plush Toy 
which is a thing apparently. I never knew anything out of it because really you could say you said the Ghostbusters either being out or coming out. Uh, the new one, I said obviously the one that kind of like make publicity. And uh, I'll take that out of its container. This thing and stay down. Stay path, marshmallow man. There you go. That's kind of awesome. They said they said that was going to be a uh, plush toy. There you go, plush toy. Uh, from boutique plush masters at uh, Monster Factory, who have infused this classic character with their trademark style. It's like, yeah. What do you think of Ray? Sorry, I didn't mean to. I thought of an execute of a of something else. The hell is it in between, right? Yeah, we've got this. Uh, exclusive phone cases are coming soon, soon. So uh, that's just a lot. Um, basically, it just allowed me to have a look, saying, "All right, do you have a phone like that?" Funny enough, I possibly do. Uh, entered your phone thingy and you can get exclusive cases then. So it's like... Uh, probably something that's going to cost me a bit more money. <laughs> and the next item. i got to try and find something to... Right, just a... i got a DC one. i got a Batman one. Um... A little while ago, but there you go. We got one from Marvel. So let's have a look. Which one do we get? Because apparently, with um, obviously Avengers, oh no, sorry, Captain America: Civil War happening, we're gonna get stuff like this, which I'm always going to get Marvel stuff or something, and. Uh, the molded mug, uh, six ounces, so it doesn't kind of hold a lot, but there you go. It's a very small look about you can see by my hand, right? Yeah, but you know, if I hold my hand, look at that, that's kind of it's kind of awesome. Kind of having if I ever want like just six ounces of coffee, I think I'll tell you, I want to cut down my coffee really a lot then this will be the mug I will do it with. But that's kind of cool, as you see Iron Man. I, I probably will have a look around and see if I can find, you know, if there's anybody who's had the Iron Man one. Or the, sorry, not the Iron Man one. Oh, God, I tell you what, where's my head? <laughs> um, that's got the um, Captain America one, that would be cool. And I don't know much about the next thing, but this is the T-shirt. So I don't know whether or not I'll keep this one because I have no idea what the bloody hell it is. Uh, um, if anybody else does, then uh, you know, by all means, anybody I know can actually say, hey, look, do you fancy wearing that? That there is what is it let's have a look sorry let's, i gotta move a lot of stuff now so i gotta read right that hopefully you can see it guys oh there's not much of it is a rick and morty t-shirt influence your slow-witted friends to, uh, to follow you on all your zany adventures and misadventures uh, with this out of the world Rick and Morty t shirt. I might still keep this t shirt. I don't know, I haven't kind of made any decisions. The bloke on it kind of looks like Dot Brown. I've never watched the show myself, so I know it's a show. That's about it. I've never watched it. I've been too busy doing other things. So. Overall, right, yeah. Let's kind of uh, let's have a look now. Let's let's see what else. So, what do we have? 
Jim, let's just close this box for a second. Right, so we've had the t-shirt, we've had the Marvel, Marvel Captain America or Iron Man mini mug, mini mug. So it's like uh, extra sketch notepad, which is cool. I normally put stuff like that away because, you know, once you use it, it's gone. But you have to use it sometime. So it's like, well, I'll use it sometime in the future. Just need to put it away. Uh, the Funko, the 16 Candles, Funko Pop figure, final figure, sorry. And the exclusive, over the time, license plate pin, which is kind of awesome. Um, before I give my roundup of what I thought, uh, this new new block will be for a paranormal exclusive from Ghostbusters, along with other classic exclusive items from Harry Potter and uh, the Goonies. So I think they're going for an 80s thing, but uh, obviously you've got new merchandise coming out. Um, it'd be interesting, actually, to see what happens with the Goonies. Because that was a really good film. If you haven't seen it, look it up. Giving you the spelling there. That's just all you need to do is look that up. Um, really, I don't know a lot of these things. Like Captain America, obviously, right? Yeah. Iron Man. Edge of Sketch. There's like, there's like about three, three out of the five things I knew about. I know about. Uh, the, the pin, it, uh, for me, is probably the best item because that's, you know, I, I've got the box set of Back to the Future. I've watched it God knows how many times. Um, yeah, I enjoy Marvel. I'm more of a DC person. I'm enjoying uh, all the uh, shows like uh, Arrow and The Flash and all those. And the edge of sketch is a nice little touch. It's it's different, if you know what I mean. So overall, it's not too bad. You know, the T-shirt. I have no idea who he is, but it's a T-shirt. You know, this is the reason I got into the, this thing. Was that I, I kind of like some of the T-shirts. I am still thinking that I will change up my... I'm still trying to debate whether or not I move from the classic because the classic is nice but it's like I've got to check out now uh, the sci-fi block uh, see if it's been another awesome one and if it has then I think that's the decision there is that I'd much rather get a sci-fi thing than sort of like randoms if you know what I mean because that, that classic is cool, but it's random. So I no, and I really enjoy the tea, wearing the t-shirts. I like all these themed t-shirts. So that would be it, basically. So um, thank you for what. Thank you for watching. And uh, don't forget to say if you want to see more, then uh, let me know. Uh, also, you can visit my channel. I do have a website as well i said i'll put all details uh below anyway but until next time take care and stay safe